Unit eight. Tourism. Page eighteen. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Hi, Cho. How are things? Good. Have you made up your mind about where to go on holiday? Well, I've narrowed it down to two countries. My first choice is France, and my second is Japan. What do you think? Well, France is one of the largest countries in Europe. Since we've got a four-week summer holiday, you could go on a cycling tour of the country, or go on a package tour. No, I'm not into package tours. I'd like to visit the Alps and Mont Blanc, the highest mountain in Western Europe. I'd also love to explore Paris and go sightseeing in the historic city of Versailles. Sounds exciting. I think it's quite warm there, much warmer than in Britain. I can just picture you tanned and relaxed, tasting delicious local specialities like frogs' legs and snails. Ha <laughs> ha! That's not really my cup of tea. Perhaps I should go to Japan and stay at a seaside resort, eating sushi and sashimi every day. Anyhow, Japan is only my second choice. Right. So, what do your parents think about your plans? Oh, they're cool. I'm glad that they let me make my own decisions. Lucky you. Whatever you decide, you'll have a good time. So, what about you? Planning anything? Well, my family. Unit eight. Page twenty-two. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Listen and repeat the following mini talks, paying attention to the tone in the questions. One. Where would you like to go sightseeing? I'd like to go to Australia most of all. Two. What do you think of the newly discovered cave? Oh, fantastic! Three. Have you been sightseeing all day? Yeah, we've been to the old pagoda, the orchid garden, and the open air market. Four. Is Egypt a famous tourist attraction? Yes, millions of people go there every year. Unit eight, page twenty-two. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity six. Mark the questions with falling or falling rising arrows, and practice the conversation with a partner. Then listen to check your pronunciation. What's the matter, Janet? I'm looking for my passport. It seems to be lost. Have you already searched your purse? Not yet. Oh, where are my glasses? They may be in your plastic bag. Where is it? Oh no, it's not here. Have I dropped it on the plane? Oh my God! What should I do now? Let's report it to the customs officer. Unit eight, page twenty-seven. Skills two. Listening. Activity two. Listen to the lecture and tick true or false. Thanks to the widespread use of modern means of transport, people have more choice of holiday destination. And can now visit even the remotest parts of the world. Tourism has certainly become an important factor in the development of many countries. An obvious benefit of tourism is that it plays a key role in economic growth. It contributes greatly to the income of a region or country. It also brings job opportunities to all kinds of people, and therefore helps promote prosperity in diverse fields. Another positive aspect of tourism 
is that it helps promote international understanding and cooperation among nations. In addition, tourism can improve the standard of living of local or rural communities, so young people are encouraged to stay in their hometown to build a good life rather than move to big cities. Finally, tourism brings cultural benefits, as travellers learn about the history and culture of a place and spread them around the world. On the other hand, the drawbacks of tourism can't be denied. Unit 8 Page 27 Skills 2 Listening Activity 3 Listen again and choose the correct answer. Thanks to the widespread use of modern means of transport, people have more choice of holiday destination and can now visit even the remotest parts of the world. Tourism has certainly become an important factor in the development of many countries. An obvious benefit of tourism is that it plays a key role in economic growth. It contributes greatly to the income of a region or country. It also brings job opportunities to all kinds of people and therefore helps promote prosperity in diverse fields. Another positive aspect of tourism is that it helps promote international understanding and cooperation among nations. In addition, tourism can improve the standard of living of local or rural communities, so young people are encouraged to stay in their hometown to build a good life rather than move to big cities. Finally, tourism brings cultural benefits, as travellers learn about the history and culture of a place and spread them around the world. On the other hand, the drawbacks of tourism can't be denied. <laughs>